Hey guys, this is my 100th episode and my two year anniversary. That's right, in February 22nd, 2015, I created this channel. And two years later, almost at 100, almost at 100 subscribers. So I will be doing my top seven favorite Pokemon generations. Not the series, like generation one, generation three, those kind of generations. All right. So number seven is generation four. This generation is with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. So, this in number six, I was kind of, um, kind of like reflecting between which one should be last place. But the reason I chose this is because of the Pokemon. Like, both of them were tied in the anime. But when it comes to Pokemon, I just give number six more because mm, there are a lot of Pokemon I don't like that come from the fourth gen, like Arceus. Yeah, I don't like Arceus. But it does have some good Pokemon, like Infernape. But the bad just outweighs the good here. But by the way, I'm not hating on like the the like the last generations. I like all of them. It's just my least favorite. Oh yeah, I'm also judging these by the actual games and the anime and their Pokemon. I didn't really play the fourth gen game, so yeah, there's nothing there. Number six, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Now. A lot of people really like this gen, and I can see why. It has some great Pokemon like Sceptile, Slacking, Shiftry, Ludicolo, and some great legendaries like Rayquaza and Kyogre. But, for me, it's just the bad also outweigh the good here. Uh, it got, like, um, yeah. Well, it's not that the Pokemon are bad. It's just the other gens... Are sort of just better in a way like the anime like it's pretty meh to me I, I just feel like it was lacking something so that's all I could actually say about this number five here we go to the top five and number five is Pokemon gold and silver I forgot to say Ruby and Sa third gen contains Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Alright, so I'm just not really talking about the remakes, you know, like Fire Red and Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'm just talking about the originals, because, yeah. Alright, so the second gen it has Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Now, it's not that this gen is actually bad. It's kind of meh, again. Uh, but the reason why it's higher than Gen 3 and Gen 4 is that half of it is Kanto. And, like, that's one of my favorite gens. You're about to find out soon. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, their Pokemon... Alright, first of all, they introduced the Dark and Steel type. Kind of like those. Also... There aren't really, like, uh, there were, there's Blissey and Typhlosion, and I guess Heracross, but that's all they actually have. Everything else is meh, okay, I guess. The anime was pretty boring, actually, to me. I just probably offended a lot of people. Alright, so I guess that's all I have to talk about this. Jen, number four, X and Y. Originally, this was probably going to be number 6 and 7, but they got a lot of good Pokemon. They got Tyrantrum, Greninja, Noivern, uh, Gudra, uh, Golgoat, there's Aegislash, 
It also introduced Mega Pokemon, which are like broken AF. Mega Gengar, I was screaming my head off. Alright, so. And their anime? Best anime out of all of them. I'm telling you, best anime out of all of them. Alright, so. I played the games in this one. The games were kind of the reason why it's not number two or number one. The games were just, meh, they were, they were terrible, actually. Uh, like, the game was too easy. Uh, now, the story is pretty good. The game was too easy, that's kind of why it's kind of down. But, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Alright, guys, number three is, is, or are, the original games. So I played Pokemon Red on the Virtual Console. It's pretty good. Uh, their Pokemon. That is where their their Pokemon is the reason they're number three. Cause if it wasn't for their Pokemon, I'd be honest, it'd probably be number six. But they got Charizard. They got Dragonite. They got. Uh, they got. Executor, Hero, Pidgeot, Buck, and the one and only Gengar. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, Charizard. I think I already said Charizard. Blastoise, Venusaur. Those are pretty good. Butterfree, Beedrill. Um, yeah, a lot of good Pokemon. Like all of them. I I would say all of them. It's just I can't remember all of them by now. Wait, what? Not by now, I mean right now. Alright, number two. They're the newest games. Alola. Or Pokemon Sun and Moon. I just played Pokemon Moon. Oh, yo, that's so good. That's like the best. Best. Well, not really the best game. Second best. I'm gonna be honest, second best. Alright, so their story is just amazing. I love the battle tree. I was so close to beating Red today. Man, Red's just too good. Uh, so, yeah, their Pokemon. Swazzle, Lycanroc, Crabrawler, Wishy Washy, Incineroar, Mimikyu, like, Tortinator, Pukumukyu, I think that's how you pronounce it, Minior, Savali, Primarina, Decidueye, like, same with Gen 1, the, all of their Pokemon are, like, beast. But the reason it's ahead of Gen 1 is because of the actual games. The anime so far, it's kind of meh. But, out of elimination, you could probably guess what number 1 is. Is the... Is the reboot, technically. <laughs> yeah, well... Gen 5 are my favorite gens. Alright. Uh, story time here. Pokemon Black 2 was the first ever Pokemon game I ever played. And he, uh, th that's the reason I'm probably a part of Pokemon. And their Pokemon by themselves are amazing. Samurott, Volcarona, Crocodile, Kling Clang. Uh, who am I missing here? Zoroark. Um, yeah, so many. Uh, well, their games are, like, pretty m nostalgic. I, I remember everything. I just really like the gen. Although the anime was pretty lackluster, uh, the games are really good. And the sequels were even better. Like, man, these... The Gym Leaders in Elite Four, I think, uh, Chantal is my favorite Elite Four member. Yeah, Chantal's my favorite Elite Four member, second Agatha. Third probably Grimsley. Uh, this man, I missed, well, I'll miss him. Uh, and their po they got Bravier, they got the most American bird ever. <laughs> Alright, so that was my list. Pokemon, the gen, the fifth gen is like always gonna be number one. Like, no matter what, it's always gonna be number one. 
those games are my favorite games of all time. Oh, I just love them. Alright, so guys, that was it. Thank you for two years of this channel. And this is my 100th video. So in one year, I made around 50 videos. So yeah, thank you for two years. Hopefully we can hit and 100 videos. Hopefully we can hit 100 subscribers soon. And with that, bye.